and better and better. And by better and better, I mean me being closer and closer to taking the bridge. Uh, welcome in. <laughs> I, how, why? Why am I about to read this to people? Honestly, why? Why are the wor- the collection of words in front of me, when arranged in the way they're arranged, are so upsetting to me? We had an entire plan of what we wanted to do today. And I don't know. Maybe I'm just not good at my job. But I had an idea what was going to be good today. And now this, what Sully has placed right here, this is going to sidetrack the entire thing. It just broke. I'm aware, Francis. So now, instead of doing what we think is legitimate, here's what we got to do. We have to drone on about uh, wallowing in our misery. People, we have breaking news. I'll do it correctly. Nope. I refuse. Try it again. Kenny Holland expected to return to Red Wings with or without a contract. Wait, 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 wait a minute. Hold on. This is one of the most incredible headlines I've ever read. Ken Holland expected to return to Wings with or without a contract. (laughs) I'm sorry. I must have missed where this is a a, a hobby for people. With or without a contract. Mm. (laughs) You know, I, I, I feel I feel for the people who care about this team. I do. You know what? I spoke with Rieger. Um, I apologize. I was I was tied up with a late breaking meeting, uh, so I couldn't do crosstalk. That's the only reason it wasn't disrespectful to Gator or Rieger. Um, You're a reveling. That's not fair. But I was speaking with Rieger, and and he wants to sell you a fantasy, um, and that's fine. And it has to do with Steve Eiserman, but we can get to that later. But. I'm going to open this up to the people. This is a, oh my God, I can't believe this is how we're opening the show. You've won one playoff series since 2011. Ken Holland has signed numerous regrettable, reprehensible contracts. He has blown a number of draft picks. He has shown no ability following the Stanley Cup run of 08 and 09 to really piece this thing together in the new era of the NHL. I said to you, I don't know, Mikey, what was it? Six weeks ago, the last time we kind of bridged this, and I said, I fear this guy is coming back. I fear it. I'm worried about it. And people were like, nah, come on, there's no way. There's always a way with this cat. Holland with or without a contract. I have never heard of such a thing. In my entire life watching sports, never have I heard of a guy running a team who doesn't have a contract. I haven't heard of it. Don't know of it. Rieger, I know you're standing in momentarily back there socializing with the gentleman. Have you ever heard of it? I haven't. I can tell you if I don't have a contract, I'm not coming to work. It's remarkable to me. What is it about this city that we just can't be progressive, that we cannot be proactive, and we are so bleeping reactive? Like if Detroit were a bread product, it would be hard as a rock and inedible due to overt staleness. Answer con today, Kenny Holland expected to return with or without a contract. That's remarkable. Now, you mean to tell me he's a placeholder? 
You want to do what Rieger's doing and talking about Iserman has one year left in Tampa? Okay, you want to play that game, play it. I can't take away your dream. I can't take away your hope. As long as Iserman doesn't have an extension in Tampa, you want a dream, go for it. But I'll tell you this. Until or unless Steve Eisenman walks through that door or a new, aggressive, um, proactive, you know, a new GM walks through that door, I don't know how you support this team. I really don't. I mean, we've talked about this ad nauseum with the Pistons and you know, for a time, we did it with the Tigers, with Ausmus, and now he's gone. Lions and Caldwell, he's gone. This this Red Wing organization is really doubling down on the fact that you just can't stay away. That's what they're betting on here. I don't know how anyone who's a longtime fan of this team and spends their hard-earned money reads the headline, Holland expected to return with or without a deal, and goes, oh, man, I own two seats, let me buy four. I mean, that that borders on, borders on a team that is either completely out of touch with their fans or simply doesn't care. You pick. How could Kenny Holland be tapped as the guy to lead this rebuild? How? And if you want to do what Rieger's doing, I'm fine with it, but I can't sit here and tell you, oh, yeah, a year from now, Eiserman's walking through the door. I can't do that. Lord, no, I don't even know what you'd have to do to make that happen. What mea culpas and what what clandestine meetings would have to take place. I, I can't even go down that road. But if you are a Red Wing fan and you read that headline, what is your initial reaction to this? I am I'm horrified, but I'm not surprised. I worried that this was where it was headed. I don't know. When, when was it? When did we talk about this? Was it post deadline or whatever it was? That's when it was. Yes. And I and I worried, and I'm like, guys, I I got a bad feeling he's coming back. I'm the only thing that surprises me is without a contract. What are you, a volunteer at summer camp? What franchise runs itself this way? Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. It's insulting, isn't it? It's insulting that, you know, it can go on this long and the organization can be this stale and then they can just reportedly trot him back out there and say that ownership has confidence in Ken Holland heading the rebuild. I don't even know how this is happening. And the whole thing about he's expected to return with or without a contract. I've, I've never heard of it. I don't even know what that's supposed to mean. I've never frankly. heard of it. Oh, basically, he could just be a special helper to the team. He loves them so much. He will buy them another year of the painful rebuild before they hire the real GM and he goes upstairs? I don't know. Again, Rieger had the idea. It's Rieger's fantasy as it pertains to Iserman. Last year of his deal in Tampa, hasn't signed an extension. But boy, oh boy, I've never seen with or without a contract. And I'll tell you this, if you were on the fence with this team, if you were kind of done, if Holland's back, well, congratulations, he's back. And he doesn't even need a contract to be back. I've never heard of something like that. Well, it's funny, a few weeks ago we were talking about how you think the Pistons are the worst-run organization in Detroit. Something like this happens, I think it's pretty fair to say that no. you could just throw the Red Wings back I'll there. tell you why not. Because the Wings are accumulating picks. They are so bad, they are tanking. Uh, great loss last night, helpful. Big lottery week this week. Uh, no, the Pistons gave up their first-round pick, refused to lose, make trades to just level out. No, the Pistons are the worst organization in this city, period. Long-term, I, I we'll see what Chris and company do with the Wings and what they are as owners. Goris, I think we figured out what he is. No, the Pistons are the worst in this city. But the Wings are are really, right now, I think they're either out of touch or they don't care about you. It's one of the two. Because bringing back Kenny Holland is as tone deaf as it gets. I think Red Wing fans want to believe that there's going to be a new voice, a new vision, uh, a new way of scouting, a new way of development. The idea that Holland and Blasha will remain here, 
I will leave it to you guys. You are the ones who spend your hard-earned dollars going down there. Uh, you are the guy. You are the guys and gals who watch this team on a nightly basis. I don't know what to say to you. I don't. Two four eight five three nine ninety seven ninety seven. Unfortunately, that's how we have to start the show. Happened five minutes before the show. It's unbelievable to me. Switch gears and talk about your home. Now, listen, if you. Live